Uh, it was it was really fun to watch, actually. And you see the parents, they're coming, dropping off their kids, some of them going to a school for the first time for in-person learning in tears. And you have the kids coming out of the cars. They're all just wide-eyed looking around like, where do I go now? Uh, really fun to watch. Now, on top of that, the anxiety, the excitement, they have to also be concerned about or think about what's happening inside the school. So we got a tour of this school this morning, the Verdugo Woodlands Elementary School within the Glendale Unified School District, which is opening classrooms TK through 20 across 20 schools. The third and fifth graders come back on April the 5th, but they're operating on a hybrid schedule, which means the students are alternating between in-person and distance learning in groups, and all the teachers and staff have the option to be fully vaccinated before returning to school. There's daily health screenings, and as you're looking at right here, there are numerous safety measures, including air filtration systems, thermometers, plexiglass desk shields, PPE, and new outdoor learning spaces. So we did talk to a couple of the parents as they were dropping their kids off today, and here's what they had to say. I just felt bad all these, uh, like, months have gone to waste, you know? Like, they've been at home all this time. I feel bad. They've been at home for a year, uh, so we're ready to, to get things back uh, back rolling. Families do have the option of continuing full-time distance learning for the remainder of the school year. That's till June. Three other Southern California school districts, as we said, returning to classroom learning today after more than a year, including Long Beach Unified. They're welcoming kids up to grade 5. Downey Unified welcoming kids up to grade 12. And Manhattan Beach welcoming students up to grade 9. So, uh... Different schools have different models for this hybrid in-person learning, Michaela. But uh, as you see, everyone doing the best they can, given all of the circumstances, yeah. they have all of the safety measures here in place. But it really was fun to watch these uh, these kids come to class this morning. It was, I remember it was something that else. anxiety myself. But this is a whole nother level, right? That first day of school is always yep. uh, anxiety prone. Did you see that little heartbreaker walking in with a bouquet of flowers for his teacher? I was very impressed. I, I and I talked to the father there, as you said. I just had to. I had to talk to them. I said that is the cutest thing I have ever beyond, seen. Beyond. <laughs> beyond. And. and and the kid was the one who was a little bewildered for a second, <laughs> and um, sure. you know they had all of the, they had all of the staff here like just telling them exactly yeah, where to go. So exactly. it, 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 it's first day of school. Yeah, grace first for everybody. And one thing I guarantee, they are going to sleep well tonight. This is going to be an overwhelming day for everybody. <laughs> for sure. Mom and dad too. Uh, all for right, sure. Bob. I'm really glad you got to be there to witness it. It, it does take you back.